Let's take a look at what's new in PHP Storm 10. PHP Storm 10 comes with extended PHP 7 support right out of the box. Here we see the error squiggles everywhere. You can use the quick fix menu to enable PHP 7 language level and the inspections and intentions are now active. See how we get scalar type errors for the parameters? Along with the performance increases, you'll now get access to all the updated features of PHP 7 in PHP Storm 10. PHP Storm 10 also comes with some cool new code completion features. Here you can see completion on an array. When you're using an existing interface, PHP Storm 10 gives you code completion on any of the methods you will want to implement. It also automatically generates the signature of that method for you. This completion also works when you're extending classes and want to overload properties or constants. Refactoring can now be done inline. When we rename something that has no impact outside this file, it happens instantly. When it will impact things externally, we get the standard refactoring preview pane before the rename is completed. Using the at lang annotation, you can now tell PHP Storm which language you wish to use in a given string. You'll now get all the features of that language, including code completion, right inside the string. You can use the text language to disable these language features. Debugging features have continued to improve in PHP Storm 10 with the new interactive debug console. Here we've hit a breakpoint as normal, but now we can interact with the PHP objects right within our debug console. As well as viewing how things are looking inside the objects, we can also manipulate the objects at runtime with full code completion before we continue to step debug. Once we're happy with how we've set the objects up, we can continue the process before interacting with the objects again to check the results. Also brand new in PHP Storm 10 is the code flow analyzer. Try using the analyze data flow to here option from the code menu to see, for example, where a variable has come from. You can use the Analyze data flow from your option to see how a variable will be used later in the execution. This is really useful if you're working with someone else's code or library. On the server side, PHP Storm 10 comes bundled with support for PHP Unit 5, including the new annotations and assertions that brings. The new Docker plugin makes managing Docker containers possible from right inside the IDE. On the client side, PHP Storm 10 comes with new support for Angular 2, Flow, and TSLint. There have been a number of improvements to the editor too. Here you can see that you can manage projects much easier, including adding them to groups and showing or hiding on the welcome screen. There have also been numerous other improvements, such as this preview added to the Find dialog. There have been database improvements, HTML encoding has been added, in-place code style changes, and much, much more. Why not give it a try? You can download the trial version of PHP Storm 10 today at jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching.